We now return to Let's Play Caves of Cud. Time to move. And where we are going is way up here. The uh, Grit Gate, Grit Gate, is pretty damn far away, and that is why I imagine we have that Joppa recoiler so we can get back to where we need to go. However, before that, I will be making a stop here at the Rusted Archway. Spanning the sky rusts a metal archway under which passed the chrome gargantuans canonized in the Elder Canticles. Because that, my friends, is a fortress of high technology. And there should be many, many cool things in there. So let's go. And hope I don't get lost. I already ate my eyeless crab legs. Sip some water. Um, might make it. Ate a bunch of my vine wafers. Okay, so we haven't starved yet, but we might do that. Now, I do have harvesting and butchery, so we see some fields right there next to the mountains. If I starve going in here, uh, hopefully I will be able to find some food later on. So let's go in and hope nothing kills me. Right away, there are things that will kill me. Uh, I'm going to try and make a break for the door and hope there's nothing on the other side so that I can actually get out of the way here. Is that, is that not hostile? It is hostile. It's easy. These are both easy. Oh, I must be pretty badass right now. Let's open the door. And there's a board. Damn it. Okay, well... For something that's easy, I'm not doing a hell of a lot of damage to it. And I probably should not actually be sitting here because now I'm letting myself be surrounded. Okay, we'll get in here then. Grab some raw boar meat. This will be good. I need the food. We'll wait for that centipede to show up. Or not. Okay. Raw boar meat. Uh, there? Okay. So I guess these things on the wall, which are um, pricklers, since they are hostile, they count as enemies that do not allow me to... What did I just see there? Oh no. Uh, I'm going to time dilate. I don't know that this is terribly difficult. This is a two-headed boar. It's a lot more difficult than the boar itself, though. But anyway, those things being there does not allow me to auto-pick up anything. Or, or not, I just totally lied. But the bloody prickler, damn thing that it is, did some damage to me. So I need to get that off the wall. They are much more difficult than the other plants. But I can just rest up and walk through. Now there are the stairs down already. I, however, want to explore this whole place. Hopefully I won't walk face first into um, some auto turrets or something like that. But it's definitely worth exploring because there can be some vaults full of lots of useful things. Now, that tortoise, you are neutral to me. Even though you are an enemy of my people, the antelope. I don't know why. I, what did I pick that made me on good terms with the antelope? Anyway, these colored doors here are security doors. And they mean nothing to me because I have psychometry. So you see, I just lay my hand on the door and I know the code. Unfortunately, we got to deal with some of these things. Can I shoot them off the walls? Well, yeah, I can. Uh, do I have my pistol? I do have my pistol. Okay. I was just making sure that uh, I was not inadvertently using up all of my shotgun shells. Now, I think that wall might actually just be open to the elements. It looks like it is. So there's no point in going there and triggering that prickler. This is something I don't get. Um, there's this door here that just is out in the middle of nowhere. And it is literally just a door. It might go to the next area, but uh, I don't want to go to the next area yet. Here we go, a yellow security door. Don't know what's on the other side of that. Sometimes there's just a door with a wall that goes to nowhere, like that. So, let's see. Nothing down that way. 
And this looks like another hole in the wall. It is. Okay. Well, I'm not going to waste more ammo on these things. I'll just have to heal up after every encounter. That tortoise is just following me around. If I had uh, carapace, that would increase my reputation with those guys. Just blazing through the security doors. It's worth coming out here and seeing what's there. Um, this thing. The honey skunk. Uh, let's get out of that poison gas. And into another fight. I really oughtn't be shooting these things. These are not too bad. I am, however, getting a lot of meat. So, uh, there's another ability. I don't know how you actually start a fire on your own, but there is an ability to start a fire with your mind. Another tortoise. And I think I'm going to have to deal with this prickler. to heal up just in case we meet something nasty. Okay, and that goes to the outside. There might be something else out here, though. Time of day apparently changed. Because now I can see much further. What was that? Oh. The pigs and the... well, the swine and the tortoises do not like each other. So this is a raid on this fortress by the turtles, I guess. They don't like the honey skunks either. Now this skunk is coming to try and take advantage of the fact that I was fighting the plant. Ooh. All right. Yeah. The tortoises, I don't know who owns this base, but the tortoises were definitely taking advantage. Maybe I can pull him over to the tortoise, and the tortoise will come to my aid. Doesn't look like it. That was actually kind of dumb. Boar meat. What I just saw here, however, are some goodies. More scrap. So now I've got that. Maybe it's a centipede fortress. Okay, only a few more places to check out. Open the doors just so I know where I've been. And completely unnecessary. Okay, time to go down. Save first, of course, because who knows what the hell is down there. Might be a room full of chain gun turrets. Oh, I I had a character that got pretty far, and I was pretty pleased because it was actually the first character... I, I think I said that, like, the first 12 times I tried this, I could not make it past the first dungeon. Well, this character was the first I had not only gotten past the first dungeon, but the second dungeon and I had found some ruins just in the overworld. It wasn't this place. I mean, you randomly sometimes find a location. And I entered the ruins, and there was a whole line of those scrap pieces, and I just got so excited, but it was a honey trap, because as soon as I entered the room, there was a line of three chain gun turrets that just mowed me down, and I was so devastated, because I was playing on permadeath at the time. Won't be making that mistake again. And I totally forgot I had time dilation, because if I'd put that on... Oh. Um, speaking of. If I'd put on time dilation, it would have enabled me to... Uh, would, would you go over... There we go. Would have enabled me to get past that, and uh, I would not have... Oh my god. There are so many of these things right now. Uh, they cannot climb stairs, I don't believe, so I really could just make a retreat. Oh boy. Um, this might be a situation where I finally want to use my force wall. I'm going to just... I've got nine squares to do this, so I will do like 
that and just protect myself. Now the only thing I can do here though is shoot. So maybe I actually want to swap out for my pump shotgun. And fire upon... Oh yeah, that did a hell of a lot of damage. And then I need to reload, right? Because you gotta use a turn to reload. That is so why it's not the best. Yay, level 9! Uh, load my shotgun again. Take a shot at you. Oh, wow. What the hell just happened there? I just <laughs> mowed everybody down. Maybe they tried to run into my force field. Injured you. That's right. Run. Run. Badly wounded. I don't know how many more s shells I've got. So I should probably spend some... Okay. I guess it's got some area of effect, you know, being a shotgun. Um, yeah, okay, why not? Badly wounded, great. So, how many shot? Oh, I've got 20. I've got plenty of shells left. But I'm going to nonetheless switch back to my revolver, because these are... precious. Oh, there's another pig coming in. Damn it. Uh, no, I didn't actually want to do that. I wanted to shoot you. Uh, you're a different color. I, d I think that means that I will not have a good chance of hitting you. Bam! Okay. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how we do it. Did I just take damage? No, I, I butchered it. Boar corpse. Got some water. Boar corpse. More raw meat. Another centipede. I am hungry. Well, I just ate some of that meat. Many, many pieces of meat. That was, that was a fight. So yes, this is a boar fortress. Um, clearly, swine fortress. Woohoo! bent sheet metal, but it didn't let me actually pick it up, because apparently there was something outside the door in this room. Oh my god! So that guy just threw something at me that detonated. Didn't seem to do anything to me, though. Yeah. Star apple, great. And a two-handed steel warhammer. I'll take it. Stairs up? Where did those stairs go? Take more dread roots. Eventually, I'll be able to make some. Cautious, cautious, cautious. Because if there are guys in here lobbing grenades, there is a swine. Well, I'm kind of tempted to see where this goes, actually. Let's go up it. Um, ah. So it's just a hidden trap door or something because there's not a stairway down. So now we get to go down the stairs again. Okay, well, we'll take it from this side now. Uh, there's another boar. More boar meat. I wonder how much meat I'm loading myself up with. That's okay, though, because it is a long journey. And uh, we still have to go further south yet to get... Or north. North is the direction um, to get to the place with the bears. So, it's okay that I have extra food. These guys are just disintegrating. I wonder if that's because of the weaponry that I've got, or if it's just a thing. Failed energy relay. Fantastic. There's also a locker there. I'm going to take that. Still not giving me anything good. Ooh, nine scrap crystal. Wait a minute, that was something I needed for... 
No, it's Flawless Crystal. Ah, uh, got my hopes up. Flawless Crystal. Eventually, someday, maybe, we'll find one. Carbide Battle Axe. Two of them. I could dual wield Carbide Battle Axes. Um, yes. <laughs> First of all, I mean, did you see? Six 2D3s? Yes. Yes is the answer to that. Now, I'm going to miss out on my bonuses, but, um, six 2D3s. So, yeah. Weird artifacts. Hooray! More stuff to find. Freeze grenade. Let's read about that so I know how to make it. And then... Flashbang! More grenades. Well, that's okay. So, I could pick up those lockers. I don't know what the carrying... You know what? I'm going to look that up. Well, I didn't see anything that made them any different. Ooh, that trash one actually had... There's more trash... No, that's not what I want. There's more trash, but I can't apparently go through it. Okay, I did. Trash pile gave me trash. Um, but there was something in it. Uh, yeah, so I didn't see any difference between lockers and chests, and that, besides the... Uh, ooh, uh, besides the uh, color, a hide sheath hermit. He might be a little bit. Apparently, these guys are friends with the swine. Either that, or the swine is actually hitting him. Oh God! Time dilate, for damn sure. Yeah, these are the ones that are a real pain in the ass. I'm running a bit of a risk here. I'm running a huge risk. Let's immediately take... Where are my injectors? Salve injector. Apply. Okay. Kind of a waste, actually, because now I will just regenerate as normal. But, um, yeah, those hide covered guys have some. have some oomph to them. And I'm gonna let him sit there and get shot by the. Oh, he didn't get shot by that at all. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, force wall. Uh, that should be good. Okay, so we will start taking some shots at these guys. I probably should have put that shot at the real threat first, i.e. him. I'm going to swap out to my shotgun. So, hopefully you can see now why I chose the mutations that I did. Did I just blow those guys apart? No, I did not. Damn. They, they hid in my blind spot. I killed something, though. I'm not... I'm not hitting him. That concerns me. Um... A lot, actually. Did one damage to him? God, what is he... What is he wearing? Ring mail. And he's got a steel longsword. <laughs> and he keeps hiding. There we go, we got him. Okay, let's swap back out to my revolver. And... Okay. Wow. That guy was a bastard. I'm gonna get that, though. I think that's worth a bit of trade. Boar meat. Oh, I could not pick up the boar meat because... There is you. 
as I go barreling into him, oblivious to any other possible things that might have been there. Yay! A second revolver! And other goodies. Yeah, okay. That, no. This first. There we go. So, right missile weapon. Borderlands revolver. And I want to load that. Oh no, I'm almost out of slugs. Oh, that's not fair. I could make some right now. Electro bow. Ooh. Now this is a bow that is too complex for me, but um, it allows me to just shoot, I believe, without having to have any arrows. It makes it uh, its own. It has electric arrows. It's got ten piercing, which means it can probably go through quite a bit, including that asshole with his hide. Um, power cell, though. Power cell. I'd have to pull it out of the Joppa recoiler, because of course I decided, oh, I don't need a power cell. Why would I need a power cell? So, however, I would like to make it back to Joppa with that thing, rather than having to go the long way, so until we face off against another impossible foe, I will be holding on to it. Okay. So, let's bump through here, nothing good in there. A few other places to look before going down. I'm gonna just bypass that. It's a jilted lover over there, holding on to nothing. I believe that is this entire floor. Fantastic. Well, uh, that... That's probably... Probably enough for now. Um, I might pick up those lockers just because they look nicer than the chests. And just because they might actually be a little bit better. Uh, ring mail... I think I'm gonna, even though they've got the same stats, I think I'll wear this. It might be a little bit more durable, although we haven't had to face that yet. If it is even a thing. I think I read somewhere that uh, durability is in fact a thing. Um, so yeah, how do I... How do I... Cook... I don't know. I don't know if that's even a thing. But anyway, um, I've got 95 points of mutation point that I've been totally ignoring. Force wall, it's been lasting long enough, so I don't really want to do too much more with it. Now this, see, the next level is, is just exactly the same, so I don't know if it's actually bugged or if eventually the cooldown does happen. Okay, let's put one more point in and see what that does. No, it's just the same. So, it's kind of a waste for me then to be putting points into time dilation. Let's not do that. I have one attribute point that I could have been using this whole freaking time. Uh, agility, if I put it into agility, I will go up to plus three. In fact, for some reason, all of my stats have been receiving an extra bonus point. It looks like... Got one to toughness and one to ego. Hmm, that would increase all of my stuff, in fact. Let's put it into ego. I'm tempted to put it into strength or even agility, but let's put it into ego and next time I'll put into agility or maybe strength. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yay, and then all of my stuff bumped up, except for the elect electromagnetic pulse, because uh, I guess... It was not one of my starting ones or something. I don't know why it's it's affecting that one. But nonetheless, it's affecting these ones. And yeah, this still hasn't gone up. But psychometry, I can now do 6 and 4. Next time I can do 7. Maybe that's enough to... Hey, wait a minute. Let's go try and see if I can... Can understand the bow now. Yes, I can. And I can make it myself. Uh... I learned how to make the pump shotgun already. I imagine this thing is going to be crazy. Well, not too bad, actually. It's just more things we don't have. Someday I'll find those flawless crystals, I'm, I'm hoping. 
Um, 95 points. I think I might want to hold on to this. This accuracy penalty for firing while running, I don't even know how that works. So I'm not getting my shank ability now because of... Wait, I've got a short sword. It's a carbide short sword, so actually I might still be doing that. I can lay mines, so I can use my grenades as mines. That might help in a pinch if I have to run away. But... Mm, I don't think I will. Persuasion. So this allows me to offer a gift to faction leaders like those pink things. And I could improve my reputation. So actually... I could go back to the Rust Wells and give something to... Provided that pink tortoise... I mean, he might have been covered in blood. <laughs> that's why they were all red. Um, but I might be able to increase my reputation with the tortoise. And this is good, too. Intimidate. Terrifying nearby opponents. Hmm. Proselytizing. What does that do? Persuade an intelligent creature to join me. Yeah, that's part of the whole uh, controlling creatures. You can end up having like two followers, I think, between all of the abilities if you go that way. Pretty cool. No penalty for sprinting. Uh, I'll, I'll just hold on to this. Uh, I think I'll just hold on to it. No, I've got two battle axes, so yeah, I'm not getting the bonuses for hitting, but I think I'm doing okay. Doing plenty of damage. Okay, well, as usual, I think I'm going to wait until the next episode before going down the stairs. What am I even here for? Nothing. There was no quest here. It was just to come down and loot. Loot lots of good things, like an electro bow. I might consider making a cell just so I can actually shove it in there and use it as a backup, because we are kind of running out of things. I've got ten shotgun shells but it would allow me to get rid of the wooden arrow. I'll consider doing that. Uh, I'd really rather not be doing that as I'm surrounded by enemies, but you never know. I mean, if I can force field myself and then have some time, might be a thing. Anyway, I'll end this one here, and I'll see you next time.